I good morning. I am Dr. R. Ravi Kumar, Senior Consultant, Heart Failure and Transplantation. So I, today I would like to talk to you about one very life-threatening problem in cardiac diseases called cardiogenic shock and cardiac collapse. So there are many conditions in which suddenly the patient blood pressure becomes low and as you would be aware and this is called cardiogenic shock. And in such cases generally the patient loses consciousness, he falls down and he is really very sick. His blood pressure becomes very low, less than 70. Periphery has become cold. So this condition is called cardiogenic shock. It's a very life-threatening problem. And if you don't do anything, patient may not live for long. So in such cases, uh, although there are a lot of other injections and you can even do defibrillation for the heart rhythm, but still if heart becomes weak, then there is only one actual curative treatment which is very good and which is available now, which is called an impella pump or an implantable cardiac pump. So this implantable cardiac pump, the advantage is that it is actually mounted on a catheter, this implantable pump, and its size is only the size of a just an index finger, about 4, 5, 4, 5 mm in diameter. It can be inserted by a cardiologist very fast by in a, through an artery. So it can be done through the groin, just like an angiogram, or through the neck or a shoulder artery. And in this cases, we insert this cath cannula or catheter in the heart or left ventricle and it starts spinning. And once it starts spinning, it actually ejects blood, ejects blood from the heart to the body. Basically, it takes over the circulation and it gives up to four, three to four liters of flow per minute, which is more than enough to sustain life. So this in device is called impella pump and it has got uh, various uh, type of sizes so one is called impella 2.5 another one is impella cp is slightly larger another one impella 5 depends on the requirement now these pumps are now found a lot of use in instant uh, resuscitation and revival of the patient sometimes they are they are also sometimes used in the cardiac cath lab so when you have a heart attack or when you are doing an angioplasty and patient suddenly collapses, you can use it instantly. So these pumps can be deployed uh, very fast, within a period of 15 minutes, and it starts in instantly working. There's an inbuilt motor, and uh, externally there is nothing except a console. Just we like to see the, the various parameters. Basically, the external monitor to show how much flow is there, how much speed is there. That's what we want to see, how much resistance is there. So these pumps, uh, that is why they are now coming into use in India also. I mean, only uh, recently only introduced in India. And uh, one of the few, uh, we have a lot of experience here in South India with this device. And uh, this is one of the devices which uh, actually has been also cleared by the US FDA in a big way. So all over US and Europe, this is one of the most popular devices because it is very good in recovery of the patient. So various large studies like the Detroit uh, cardiogenic shock, uh, European cardiogenic shock trials, all of them have used this device to resuscitate the patient. And uh, it is one of the most successful devices for cardiac shock, or cardiac, in common words, collapse of the patient after heart attack or any other weakness of the heart.